I found a fairy. I didn't realize how like Dear friend, I hope life is treating you beautifully. I hope you remember how special, talented, and worthy to take up space you are. You are so naturally lucky, and everyone loves you. You know what you bring to the table. Life is tender for you, and life has been tender for me too. This month has been so full of beautiful energy and lessons and learning how to hold space for myself and others so that we can help each other expand and achieve our dreams. Being a creative in this world is such a gift and how magical it is when you get to share that with a friend. I'm so honored and grateful to be alive, to experience deep <laughs> friendship, love and the abundance I feel when creating. I feel so rich in all of the things money can't buy. If this video were a song, I would call it Every Time You Choose Love, You Are Rewarded. The Sunday at the Luxembourg Gardens, we're having like a little picnic. It was raining this afternoon, which was really unfortunate, but also I love when it's rainy at the parks when you're doing a picnic because there's way less people and it's very like romantic. So anyway, here's what I have for the picnic. Strawberries, half-eaten pizza, <laughs> half-eaten pizza. So I got this pizza, but then I got hungry and since I'm here first, like I ate some of it already. So it's like half-eaten hummus, <laughs> cider, San Pellegrino, cookies. So, the intention that I'm putting out for tonight, because I'm going out, is pure joy, pure fun. I, okay, this is kind of random, but a few weeks ago, a subscriber reached out to me because she was going to Paris with her boyfriend to see the Charlie XCX concert. Um, and if you don't know, Charlie XCX is sort of like a hyper pop type pop, experimental pop musician. And um, the girl lives in England, I believe. And so she's supposed to go with her boyfriend. And I guess they broke up. And so she had this extra ticket. And she reached out to me and was like, hey, would you want to go with me? And I was like, yeah, I would. <laughs> it's so crazy because I didn't even think about the fact that, like, I'm essentially going to this concert with a stranger. <laughs> because, I don't know, I just have so much trust in this community. And so when this girl's like, do you want to come? I'm like, I'm, of course she's going to be cool because you guys are all so fucking cool. So... That's what I'm doing tonight. She told me, I've never been to a concert like this before, like a hyper pop concert. Um, and she told me that most people go like hard in the paint with like how they dress and their makeup. So I was like, any opportunity to 
wear glitter you guys know that i'm down so i'm excited it's always cool to like meet people from this community because you guys are all so beautiful and yeah i hope it's gonna be a really good experience as well i'm still working on my own music and i think that it'll be cool to see a musician in concert like charlie xx who works a lot with computerized music because that's essentially what i'm doing i'm not like um like playing a guitar or something like that um not with these nails <laughs> um so it'll be cool to see what she does to like make the performance really interesting i've seen a few concert re concerts recently and i think that musicians can push themselves further than just like getting up there and singing like i think that it's interesting when you add something else to the performance for example if i ever actually perform my music it's not even out yet so we're not even at that point but um, i'd love to make it like experimental with like theater props set design and yeah just like projections and just something really cool like that so i'm excited to see what she does um tonight and maybe it'll inspire me so anyway i thought i'd vlog a little bit of that tonight i've been having very social week it always seems like whenever i have a lot of projects going on that's when everyone wants to hang out but also i always have a lot of projects so maybe that's on me someone the other day said shana are you a workaholic a little bit there was this little part of me that was like like yeah i love to work because i love what i do i love making videos and i love making art and so i feel like when you find something that you I feel like when you find something that you love that it doesn't feel like work so I hope that all of you guys are working towards your dreams whether that's to be an artist or to travel somewhere that you remember that it's all possible and to just keep that intention in your mind like whatever you desire that if you just keep working towards that and also like I think and I've talked about this in other videos that it's not necessarily working harder it's about keeping your thoughts and your mind high and high vibration surrounding yourself by people who support and care about you and i hope that that my videos can do that for you guys as well oh i just really realized lately like what kind of energy i really thrive around um and that's people who are supportive and loving which i think you know would seem so evident but also when you're around somebody that just really holds space for you and makes you feel like they care about what you're saying and um who would just genuinely love you and want to give you hugs and things like that it just feels so beautiful and see i've had a really fun week picnics earlier i went and saw damon and he gave me a bag of clothes i always feel like every time i see him he gives me clothes he doesn't want anymore and so i have this really cool mix of androgynous and like girly glittery clothes in my closet so thank you damon because you always give me the coolest shit look at these glasses he gave me he's gonna die he was like he was like, someone sent these to me and I don't want them anymore. And I'm like, I'll take them. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go now and meet the subscriber. We're going to get drinks beforehand. And yeah, I'm going to bring you guys along. So, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, wait, how do you say your name again? like, Ash, think of ashes. Ashes, Ashley. Ashley. Like, like, you burnt the fire and there's ashes. Ashley. Do you go by Ash a lot? Yeah, people call me Ash, Asho. She's from Dublin, so she's teaching me how to say my name in Irish, like how to yeah. say my name is. Okay, so you're, do you, do you remember? No. Shayna is Animdum. Shayna is Animdum. Okay. Are you having fun in Paris? I'm having a great time in Paris. Yes. <laughs> okay. Shayna's delighted that I'm like a normal person. <laughs> she ran me. <laughs> <laughs> just left the 18 where there was the concert it was so nice I'm so glad I went um, 
it was really cool to first of all meet a subscriber she like of course was super sweet we got a drink before and like I showed you guys she taught me some things about her culture it's just so amazing like I I always forget like what an opportunity it is to meet people to be able to connect to people from like all over the world through this channel so hi to everybody and let me know in the comments where you guys live in the world because I think that this would be a good occasion to ask you guys it's crazy like so I was talking to you guys about how my music is also more like computer based and like um, so I wanted to see how Charlie does her performances and holy shit she's like dancing so much and I don't know how she has a stand -up stamina even like as somebody who wasn't singing and it was just an audience like I was tired for her like damn damn girl props to you I honestly feel like one of the ways and I think I've talked about this before that we can keep our life exciting and make it seem like it's fuller is by creating novelty and doing things that are outside of our norm and yeah anyway so I'm glad I did that and I would also encourage you guys to expand ask yourself how you can expand and if you get a chance to try something just go for it because life is so short it's, it reminds me of that movie yes man and it's not to say like not to be vigilant but also I don't know, like if you're out at a bar or something and you want to go talk to somebody, like go fucking talk to them, you know? There's, you have nothing to lose, so anyway, I'm gonna go home, brush my teeth and go to bed. Lately, I've been falling asleep, like, <laughs> on my computer. I've just been having a lot of work to do. Um, and when I fall asleep without brushing my teeth, I think of it as if I have, like, dirty dishes in my mouth. It's kind of weird. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Okay, good night! See you later! Got a new journal. I love this one. And when you open the first page, so green. The back says. Once a man has seen a dragon in flight, let him stay home and tend his garden in content. For this world, this wide world has no greater wonder. You know what that means, baby. It's ladies' night. <laughs> I love our different styles, like you have like your cute little ukulele and then I have my zine, it's like simple life, bitch. <laughs> you just look like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I got all of that on video. <laughs> Don't show. <laughs> You're like, maybe? Okay, I need to see a photo of Margot. I think she had the bottom at the top, right? Tenon bomb? Yeah. <laughs> I can't let on. Right. Wow, I'm just like still so drunk at Celia's story. You're sorry? Okay. Yeah. But like you manifest stuff. Like you manifest, so do you. Look at your new job. Yeah, but I'm like, like open? 
look like shit. <laughs> it's not that it's just... <laughs> wow, Megan, you got uglier. What happened? I'm gonna do a really good job. Do you like the little points that I do? Would you want to point? Whatever you want. Open it's, up. Open up. Feel the stylistic direction. I like the points. Wow, Shayna, your eyes are on fire. Really? What do you mean? I told you. Do you ever watch Gossip Girl? Yeah, of course. See, this is what I'm trying to make you look like that one girl when when Jenny goes crazy. You know, like when Jenny becomes like a like this crazy singer in the. Oh, I can't Do you know what I'm talking about, Jenny? Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to Shayna's new makeup YouTube. <laughs> I'm the first girl. <laughs> started doing is like at the end of the week like on a Sunday I'll sit down with myself and I'll write about what I did this last week um, just because I think sometimes like I can skip journaling days and then um, I don't even I feel like I have like a really bad memory sometimes and I don't even remember like what I did if someone was like what did you do yesterday I'd really have to like sit and think about it and to be honest I think it's because I'm constantly being stimulated um, like a lot of us I think with the internet and screens and editing and things like that um, so I think sometimes it's hard for me to concentrate so doing this like weekly like the highlights of the week um, and how I feel has been really helpful so some little highlights from this week is I went to an AIDS charity event so basically it was a fashion fundraiser um, and all of the proceeds from all of the sales that they made goes to help with AIDS. It's an AIDS organization. But yeah, it was really fun. I got to meet some cool people and then I also got to, there was like a contest and so a subscriber of mine got to come. Um, and that was really awesome. We actually like went out on a little boat afterwards and had drinks and talked and like we all sang together. Oh! <laughs> But the last guitar thing that I like tried was classical. <laughs> disappointment because I got my last proof for my book in the mail and I thought it was gonna be perfect and like ready to go but then I noticed like a few typos and every time that you have to go back and fix something I reorder the proof and like I have to reorder it and it takes like a week for it to come in um, but another highlight has definitely been like my yoga practice because I feel like I've realized so many things there was this Wednesday in particular um, after my yoga class it was like pouring down rain. And I just decided to like walk to the park in the rain and like sit in a chair and it was like pouring and I just like sat there <laughs> as the rain like poured down on me. And I got this really beautiful idea just like sitting there in the rain um, to write like a short story collection called I don't know. I don't know if I want to say it yet because I feel like um, I feel like oftentimes I do that where I say the things that I'm working on too soon, and then it puts pressure on myself. So maybe I won't share it yet. But um, yeah, I'm really stimulated creatively recently. It's just more about finding time. Like if you guys could see the state of my apartment right now, <laughs> it's like ridiculous. But I mean that's okay. I sort of like thrive in a mess. Let me know if any of you guys have this as well because I feel like every adult female that I know their apartment is always so clean whereas I just feel like I've always struggled since I was younger with keeping a place tidy I typically just get to a point where I'm like I can't do this anymore and then I spend like the whole day cleaning um but it's just that I'm so busy and especially if I have like a night out like I'll try on all these different clothes and then I just like <laughs> it looks like an explosion at the end 
Another fun thing that I did this week is I went to um, an LGBTQ book fair. I didn't even know it existed. It was my friend Jules who invited me. It's called Paris Ass Book Fair. And I got so many really cool prints. And I just love finding these like very alternative things in Paris that aren't like... I just don't feel like they're like publicized. You almost have to like be in like the arts community to know about them. <laughs> <laughs> also, got myself one of these. I used to love taking disposable, I used to love taking film photos, and then I used to have a Yashika that I adored. Um, but then it was like a couple years ago and I had to like sell it at a moment because I didn't have any money <laughs> So I got this recently because I wanna I feel like I never print out my photos So yeah, anyway Tonight I'm going over to my friend Celia's again. We're gonna film like a little She's in um, she's studying cinema and so for her end project She's doing like a little music video and so she thought it would be fun if we made like a little short film together And I love doing projects like that where it's not like anything serious because I feel like I have so many projects in my life where I am sort of waiting for an end result um even like with my own music or my book or whatever like I take like those projects really seriously so it's really fun having artistic friends that you can just get together with and um, I'm excited just to participate I love collaborating um I'm also going to start a new series on my channel soon called Peintre or Painters where I go to the studios of painters and I interview them. And the reason why I want to do painters, because initially I thought it was going to be like just a diverse range of creative people, but I'm really interested in the idea of always interviewing painters because I think that as a medium, it's always different. And I love like the aspect, like the plastic aspect of it. And so I already have two people in mind that I'm going to go interview them. And I want to like go into their studio and also um, ask them about like their journey and how they arrived to where they are now. I really miss like when I would do interviews in art school. So this is me sort of trying to like bring this back in more of an adult way, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to go to my studio tomorrow because I sold a painting. I'm always so excited when I sell them, but it's always so difficult in France when you have to ship items that are a bigger size than just a box like this because there's no place where you can just buy boxes. You sort of like have to make your own box. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm very excited about that. Um, it was the wild horses painting, um, which is actually really crazy because this is like a few videos ago, I was talking about how like somebody told me they wanted to buy this piece and they were messaging me back and forth for so long and then they sort of just like ghosted me. And then the other day someone just like reached out and said they wanted to buy it. So that's really cool. I'm very excited about that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head over to my friends. We're gonna um, record the music portion uh, for the video tonight and then tomorrow um, I guess there's like these filmmaker guys in town who are gonna help us film it because since we're in the video we can't film it ourselves um, so yeah I just wanted to talk to the camera a little bit because I really hate when I have videos and I just like have like footage like highlight reels of what I'm doing but yeah anyway I'll keep you guys updated also I got this at like the charity event oh, anyway I'm just rambling now okay let's go <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta go Are you serious? <laughs> it's crazy, I've spent like all day like recording music. It's your dream life. It is. Change? Why, why can't we, we see any of it though? Let's see. Is it even recording? <gasps> Wait, you, you had it off. You have to turn it on. No, that's the blue. because... No, that's muting it. That's because that was a bad... I forgot that was a bad track damage. And that was good, too! I didn't even... I didn't really mess up. Okay, wait. We can duplicate um, one of these tracks and try to do it all this. Okay, 
发生了。